international affairs correspondent Tom Yamas traveled to Ukraine to try to get some answers. And Tom, what did you find? Dave, good morning to you. This is actually an issue Joe Biden has been dealing with since 2014, but it's come up again because he's now running for president. Republicans, including President Trump, are trying to hammer Biden over this. At issue, was Hunter Biden profiting off his dad's work as vice president, and did Joe Biden allow it? We're talking about millions of dollars in at least two countries. Mr. Vice President, Tom Yamas with ABC News. How you doing? Tommy, Got a quick question for you. It's a question we tried to ask repeatedly. Can, can, can we ask you about Ukraine and China? But kept getting blocked. Questions about foreign deals his son Hunter Biden pursued. My father, Joe Biden. In countries where Joe Biden was working as America's top diplomat. In 2014, Ukrainians, sick of corruption, revolted. Vice President Joe Biden went to Kiev to help the new government. You have to fight the cancer of corruption. But then something strange happened. Just three weeks later, a Ukrainian natural gas company, Burisma, accused of corruption, appoints Hunter Biden, seen here in their promotional videos, to their board of directors, paying his firm more than a million dollars a year. Hunter, a lawyer who had just been discharged from the Navy Reserves for testing positive for cocaine. Mr. Hunter Biden. He had served on other boards, but had no known experience in Ukraine or natural gas. We went to Kiev and found even among Joe Biden supporters in Ukraine, Hunter's hiring was troubling. How do you judge what Hunter Biden was doing? I think that Hunter Biden did a very bad thing and he was very wrong. He allowed his name to be abused. And Ukraine wasn't the only country where Hunter Biden's business and his father's diplomacy as vice president intersected. It also happened in China. This video shows Chinese diplomats greeting Vice President Biden as he arrived in Beijing in December of 2013. Right by his side, his son Hunter. Less than two weeks later, Hunter's firm had new business, creating an investment fund in China involving the government-controlled Bank of China. With reports, they hope to raise $1.5 billion. Hunter still plays a role in the fund. His lawyer says his stake is worth about half a million dollars. Both Hunter and his lawyers say he never discussed any of his overseas work with his father. But even a critic of the current president and his children's business dealings says this. He should have encouraged his son to not take these positions. Biden's campaign team told us that the vice president acted at all times in a manner consistent with well-established executive branch ethics standards. One person who did not want to talk about it, Joe Biden. Mr. Vice President, what's your take on that? Was there a conflict of interest there? Was there a clear conflict of interest? Now, in response to our questions, the Biden campaign for the first time is announcing if he's elected, he will invoke a new ethics policy on his first day in office that would empower White House lawyers to monitor for any types of conflicts of interest. Now, Hunter Biden did not want to comment on camera. He says he was brought into Burisma, that Ukrainian company that was facing the corruption charges, to help with its transparency and corporate responsibility. So far, no charges have been brought against Burisma so far. But these questions aren't going to go away. So in the meantime, is he still on the board for that company in Ukraine? It's a good question, David. So the same month Joe Biden announces he's going to run for president, Hunter Biden tells us his term on the board expired. He says in the current political climate, he's decided not to renew. Mm -hmm. All right. Tom Yamas yeah. investigating this.